goodness, okay. It is Sunday, dress ready to go, got my hairs did, got a cute little outfit on, got some leggings going, whoop whoop. I'm gonna wear some boots with them, cause you know, boots are fun. But it's time for coffee. I'm gonna kick off the day with a bulletproof coffee. Normally in the mornings I'm not that super hungry, so bulletproof coffee does the job. I sip on it over like a couple hours and it helps me get my fats in without breaking my fast and then without just having to eat anything. So, got my coffee ready to go. Put it in the Keurig. Get the waters going. That's how we're gonna roll and this stuff. So like, I got this at Walmart. I don't know, it's been really good though. I've been really enjoying that. And then I add in a little extra MCT just to add in the fats because you get 15 grams of fat with one tablespoon. So oh, triple threat right there. scooper looks like so you just fill her up oh I need to get some more I'm like running out Ooh, actually you know what it's just enough where I can just dump it all in since before in other videos but you need to sip your bulletproof coffee because if you drink or if you consume between 50 and 100 calories all in one go it'll break your fast if you're intermittent fasting so with this like I just sip on it and if we're going to church I'll throw it in my thermos and I'll just kind of graze on it all morning long so my body is definitely feeling inflamed so I know like I stepped on the scale this morning and it showed that I'm I'm up a few pounds, but I'm not worried about it because I'm like, I just know how my body's running. It's feeling stressed and all the other stuff. So I'm not gonna take it too, I'm not gonna take it too seriously or like too much to heart because I know that it's just my body being like, oh, it's like freaking out. It'll be fine. I mean, <laughs> is it discouraging? Absolutely. But you know, it's just kind of part of the, Part of the deal when you're dealing with a lot of stuff going on at once so there we go okay i need to get on with the morning and get my kids up and running seven ten oh maybe not maybe i'm just up super early maybe i will menu plan i think that's all i'll do okay guys so i've kind of just thrown some stuff together here not everything on here is keto because i do kind of make notes for my kids like what i'm making for their lunches and stuff but for the most part like pancakes and fruit and stuff can be keto that's keto like I can make a, a fault meal so like a fake oatmeal if you will um, so yeah but I think like this is gonna help me just to stay a bit more on track and just not I have to worry about what I'm doing you know and just to like have some direction so and then here's I've done two weeks worth so I kind of just copied the the breakfast for the most part and then it's kind of like, oh no, I've got marks on it, but it's kind of nice just to trade up all the, the different ideas. Like meat o meatloaf, you could do taco salad, if you could still make pizza, you know, you could still make the foods that you're used to if you're transitioning, and yeah, make it easy. And I started making like little notes because I feel like dairy's been becoming a hindrance in my life, so like, um, I'm gonna start doing like more low dairy and just really trying to get rid of that because it causes inflammation in the body. But yeah, I'm just like, no, like we are gonna, like we can cut the dairy out and just see how that goes. So I think that that's what's gonna happen in like the next week. The next couple of weeks is just cutting out the dairy and just seeing how that helps. Cause I know before too, like my neurologist was telling me that like dairy definitely causes a lot of that stuff and can um, just stir up a lot of stuff in the body that 
you know, it just isn't neat. It's just a reaction to dairy, right? Because we're not, because we're human, but we're consuming, like, we're not consuming human milk, we're consuming another animal's breast milk kind of a thing and blah, blah, blah. So, okay. Do you guys watch like uh, Ashley Salvatore? She's like got these awesome keto videos. And so she was saying like how she eventually cut out dairy too for some similar reasons. And she was just saying that she just added like guacamole to everything, added like an extra tablespoon of oil just to boost your fats. So, um, you know, there's like, you can, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about it like adding your fats without the dairy because I think dairy can be super, super easy, right? Like throw a handful of shredded cheese on there, add some sour cream, and whilst it's all delicious, sometimes like our bodies just don't handle it very well. And so I think that's what the deal is there. That's what we're rolling with. I'm gonna get my kids up and we're gonna get to church. So, and I'll be back later. So you saw before I was making up some guacamole and that's what I'm going for because girlfriend is not using dairy. So I have made myself, I've got some shredded chicken with some barbecue sauce where it's like the sugar free. And then I just mix that up in there and then I'm gonna top it off with some guacamole. It's gonna be super good. So, so far this morning I've had my Bulletproof coffee and then now I've got this going. So like my macros should be looking pretty good. So I'm ready to like shift those goals. Oh, don't you love seeing the pretty Christmas tree in the corner? Yay! So fun. So, all right, anyway. Um, so for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna try and keep myself busy. Just try and keep, sorry, my glasses are reflecting. Um, I try and keep myself busy, just kind of keep going with things. I notice that lately I keep snacking and that's not good because you need to have that rest in between those meals. So I'm gonna try and keep myself busy and prepping and go out to the store. There's a sale on eggs, so I'm gonna go do that. And um, yeah, goodness sakes, I don't know what my hair's doing today. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go and pick up a few things. I'm out of MCT oil, so I need to go get some of that. Okay guys, because I'm awesome, like super awesome, totally forgot to film when I was in Walgreens. And apparently I like to just film in my kitchen for whatever reason, whatever. Anyway, so picked up the MCT oil, I ran out. I had a larger bottle than this that lasted me forever. And I finally ran out and so I ran and got this. So got that covered. You know what, I picked up electrolytes and then it was kind of one of those things where I was in a in a rush or whatever and I didn't check all the, the specs on it and they had like 11 grams of sugar per packet. So I'm going to take those back. I'm like, why? I'm like, I just want... <laughs> so I'm going to take those back, which is unfortunate. But on the other thing, I don't know about you guys, but like I love planners and since it's the end of the year already, I picked up this one. It's my favorite colors. Like I love the gold, love the greenish, like mint sea green color. So I'm planning on doing a lot of organization and stuff in here. And it's awesome because like, see here, like look at the bottom. See, like I can plan all the weekly menus, can plan my days for everything. It has like gold stickers, you know, 
like life is good. So now I need to plan my final meal of the day. <laughs> you heard kids laughing. So um, I'm not sure, quite sure what I'm gonna make yet. I was actually thinking about just making a smoothie. So like Keto Connect has this really great recipe for, it's like a, um, I think it's like a chocolate almond butter smoothie. Anyway, cause I'm like, I don't know if I feel like eating anything, but like drinking like some chocolatey goodness, I think is what I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna go with. So I think it's what's gonna happen. So, all right, when I am good and decided, I will come back and show you. So I'm going for it. I'm gonna make this smoothie. So we need one cup of unsweetened almond milk. I always add like two teaspoons of a monk fruit sweetener. Um, so that's not in the original recipe, but that's just mine. So you need two tablespoon, tablespoons of almond butter, unsweetened, um, one tablespoon of protein powder. Make sure that it does not have any added sugar in it. You need two tablespoons cocoa powder, one tablespoon chia seeds, and then about, I add about four drops of this. I like the chocolate because it just makes it extra rich, so. And then in my blender, I always add some ice because, I don't know, I feel like it just makes it a little bit extra. Okay, let's mix it up. Here she is in all of her glory. That's chia seeds in there. This is delicious. And so like, I don't have this all the time, but it's just kind of now and again. And yeah, it's just something that I enjoy. And it's kind of nice when you don't really, when you're not super, hungry like you're not wanting a big meal but you know you just kind of need to you still need to meet your macros right like because you don't want your body to go into starvation mode so like this is this is my jam so I'm gonna enjoy this mm. and even after this I still have some macros to meet so I think I might have a couple boiled eggs with a little bit of mayo on top and I think that might be it for the night so life will be good. So, all right guys, I'm going to end it here because my night is going to get crazy. We are, if you haven't picked it up yet, like we're one of those crazy fun Midwestern hockey families. So we got two boys in hockey. And so like one boy will become, he's just finishing up hockey now. So my husband will be driving him home and he has like about an hour or so. Then the next boy gets to go off to do hockey. So uh, we kind of just trade off and like I, I run like the showers and getting ready for bedtime and all things. And Super fun, right? So anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for stopping by for another video, little day in life, some great ideas to just kind of get going with reducing dairy in my diet and just getting back on track with everything going on. Um, I know like with my health issues, sometimes it's not that easy to really be, um, I don't know, like I've been dedicated, I've been staying keto, but not as strict keto as I could be. And I feel like at some point you can be lazy keto um, for a while, like just to get started and stuff. But after a while, like when you really want to be hitting those goals and stuff, you really need to get more regimented and start um, focusing on like documenting all of your, like, excuse me, documenting like all your macros and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just to make sure that you are meeting all your needs and that you are staying um, within your goals to meet your goals. So, all right. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up and connect with me and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.